So in this video, I want to go over Toolpaths 3.0. This is like the biggest upgrade that the program has seen in a while, and I want to cover it in pretty great detail. If you're interested in buying this program, I have an affiliate link in the description. It really helps. If you're considering buying it, please consider using that link. I get a portion of every sale, and it really helps the channel a lot. It helps me keep continue creating this content for free uh, for you guys. So I do know there's a Black Friday sale coming, uh, coming out very soon. Uh, in a, about a week's time or so. But when I publish this video, I will put the, the any kind of sale information, I'll kind of put it on the screen. I don't know it right now. So it'll just be on the screen and before I publish it, I will add it and you'll see the, the newest sale again. Uh, what Use whatever code I put up on the screen if there is any code. And if you are considering buying the software, please consider using the affiliate link below. It really helps the channel. Uh, without further ado, let's go into the program. In this video, I'm going to cover like the newest release of Topaz Video AI. This is version 3.0.2. I'm just going to go over like uh, generally how to use the program. What are the differences between the old one? There's some newer features that weren't available in the uh, in the version two uh, iterations, but now there's a little more going on. So I'm going to drag a video in here, and I'm going to use my trusty uh, Adams Family trailer, which is uh, 480p. Um, so let, let's just start by the let's start start by preferences here. Uh, I have it. It's currently on my. I have two graphics cards installed on my computer right now, and you can select it. Of course, uh, I have the 2080 Super selected. So you want to go in here and make sure that you have your graphics card selected, and make sure that it's not CPU. If it's CPU, it's going to be incredibly slow. Uh, directories. Uh, obviously, you can set your own temp folder and the export folder. It's. Uh, I don't really mess with that. So as far as output, you can select your or your default output. I have it set to H.264, but you can change it to H.265, which is more efficient. I may I may actually do that um, because it's it'll just run off of your GPU, which is good. Uh, MP4 is a good container, and you can do default bitrate. You can set it to auto. I haven't actually tested auto yet, so I don't know if it's going to come out if it's going to you know, uh, make the file too big, but you can also just set that to any bitrate you want here. Uh, I'm just leaving, I'm still experimenting, so I'm leaving it at auto, so I wanna see what it does. And default, I would probably just uh, set it to copy. You know, so you can always uh, switch that later. Interface, I really, I like the side-by-side -side view and preview skill 100, that's fine. I wouldn't really mess with that. Advanced default preset, you can you can have it default to uh, upscale to 4K, any of these, uh, you know, slow motion. I'm just gonna leave it alone. I, I kind of like selecting what I'm gonna do in the, uh, when I'm about to do it. So I'm gonna hit save here to save what I did. And here in the left, uh, so the rest is, uh, you know, you can import stuff, you can apply a preset, trim video, which is, you can all, you can do that over here as well. There's like a button for trim down here. And uh, yeah, you can, you know, there's a little more granular settings here that I really don't typically uh, mess with. I think it's sort of redundant. You can do a lot of that stuff over here as well. Here you can select presets again, upscale to HD. That's a, that's a good one. Um, that's probably one I should probably select because uh, I would not go any higher than HD for this one. Um, and here, this is important. This kind of, this tells you information right here, the in. This tells you information about the clip, and this will tell you the output. But right now, I have it set to 1080p, which is fine. That's what I would want. And original pixel type, that's what I do. So it doesn't change it from the original how it was, how the pixel type was. And I just leave this alone. I like the I like to maintain um, the way the original video was. So again, in here, you can actually change the the. You can actually either keep the original frame rate or you can bring it down to 24 uh 23976 if you want more like cinematic uh style uh down here there's a few other things uh i actually haven't really messed with this but you can actually select stabilization uh which probably crops in um uh, a bit to to fix any stabilization in jutter this is not I mean, this is like a professional video this is more i would use this more if you have like a handheld camera video shaky video you may want to consider this i might do a whole video on stabilization in the future but for now i'm just kind of doing an overview here so i'm going to leave that off for now 
Um, that is for a future video, like I said. This is actually pretty cool. I am actually want to do another video on like slow motion, um, Topaz's slow motion capabilities, which is far superior, in my opinion, to what is, what is available. Like uh, if you, I use DaVinci Resolve to uh, to edit a lot, and you can use it, and the, you know probably the best uh, the best uh, interpolation or, or slow motion kind of compensation or uh, is uh, optical flow. Uh, Topaz does a better job, so you can actually make pretty realistic looking. There are limits, of course, but you can make pretty realistic slow motion out of 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second video. Um, there are limits, like I said, but uh, it's pretty good. So an enhancement, here we go. So we can select progressive, and it looks like this video is progressive. I'm like kind of scrolling through it. Actually, maybe, let's see. I don't see any uh, inter interlace frames here, so my guess is it's progressive. And here you select the model. Like I said, I, I typically like Artemis and I stick with high quality, but there are a few other models you can select. But I always start with high quality just to see what it looks like. You can always go in more aggressive if, if you need to. Uh, that's always an option. So let's find a good, uh, yeah, this looks like a good spot here. So let's get to do a little preview. So maybe this is like the first time it's downloading the model. So it might take a little longer to load a preview here. So, but maybe the next time, next preview I get will probably be happening much quicker. I actually got a a driver error message, so I'm going to update the driver and it should work just fine because my current driver is uh, below 520 right here. So, so just uh, if you get an error when you're trying to load a model, just make sure to update your driver because this is uh, it's not designed to work th with this yet. So here we got it selected to 1080p letterbox and the original. Uh, I'm going to do original uh, um, frame rate. So let's hit preview here and it's downloading the latest model. So right now I have it set to Proteus, so it's gonna automatically select the best parameters that it thinks. It takes a second to download this, but uh, once you download it, it's much faster. So here it's gonna run the model. And there you go, I'm getting about eight, set, eight frames per second. Um, again, I'm okay. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of this Proteus model. Uh, again, I, I, get, I like, uh, I really do like uh, Artemis the most. So let's change it to Artemis here. I'm going to go to Artemis and keep it at high quality and see what that does. And I have it, you can actually add noise or grain. So if you hit, I'm going to take the slider all the way up. So actually, let's show you what it looks without noise. And here it's going to, loading, it's loading the model. Um, I'm going to explain this. See, it's a little smoother. I kind of like it more. So here it's loading. It's actually faster. Um, this one took 39, well, 39 seconds because it added to download a model. This one's 13 seconds. So if I probably did the Proteus again, it, was, it would be better. But as you can see, I can go back to this one and see the difference, which is one of the cool benefits of this uh, new uh, version. You can go up and down the previews and see which, you, which one you like more. And you know, kind of keep it at the same spot there. Obviously, the Artemis one smooths it out a little more. You know, uh, if you if you zoom out a bit, it looks really good, in my opinion. Um, and uh, so let's uh, let me take this back down to H.264. Let's try that scene again, but let's try it with uh, let's try Gaia. Actually, wait. Uh, let's let's add noise and see what that does. I actually don't know. So let's do it together. So I'm gonna take it all the way up and see what that does. Let's add noise. It's a lot of yeah. That is. Uh, I don't know why you would do this, but uh, I don't know. Um, you can you can add noise. Now I'm gonna take it all the way down because I want I want the cleanest video off. So it it, it kind of reminds me of this grain button. You can add you can add grain as well. I always leave that off because again I want the cleanest one. But let's take that up. Let's do like ten for add grain. So you can see what that looks like. Again, this is still running Artemis here. So uh, here I'm adding uh, about halfway in the grain. So yeah, it's just adding like back. I mean, that, this actually looks better than adding noise. I don't know why you'd want to add noise. I think we're trying to take away noise here and smooth things out. But again, yeah, I can't think of any scenario that you'd want to use add noise. I can maybe see adding grain if you're going for a really uh, a really aggressive model. So if you want it to go to like uh, Artemis low quality, let's say, 
and you wanted to look you wanted to make it look a little more natural you can add a little grain back to it so I can show you what out grain it looks like in low quality it's gonna really smooth it out a lot more that's why I always try to play it safe I like the Artemis uh, Artemis high quality model the most I have more of it, other videos going on uh, going through that here it's, it looks like it's downloading a model that's why it's gonna take a bit because it I haven't run low quality yet, but again, once you uh, load it, once it downloads it, it's much faster the next time. I mean, that doesn't look half bad, honestly. I think maybe they've maybe they've improved it a bit. Um, that's pretty good. Again, I, uh, this is low quality. You can, uh, this would actually work, in my opinion. It's a little more unnatural. I do prefer. Let's go to uh, this is Artemis. Uh, this has the grain in it. This one has noise. This is just Artemis high quality, and I'm gonna zoom in a little more. This is uh, zoomed in. I'll zoom in a bit for this one. And I'll show you. I don't know, I like this one better. Um, you can hit play here and kind of get to the same spot. So this is low quality. I don't know, it's not bad. Um, Maybe they've made some improvements to low quality. I'm not sure what model number this is. I have to check that out. So one thing I noticed was in the original one, they, they had like a model viewer or a model like manager, and they don't have that in this new one anymore. So I guess you gotta, there's no way to see what model, uh, like let's say the there was like a, there was a model, um, there was an Artemis uh, low quality version 13 or version 12 for the high quality. And I guess I don't know uh, in this in this uh, version of the software, there's no way to see what version of the of the model you're using. Uh, obviously, since it's downloading the uh, it is downloading the uh, the newest version, so I guess you can be certain that you'll have that if you are downloading it. Uh, I guess there's a little less uh, control because maybe there's some people that really liked an older version of a model, but uh, yeah. So I guess you gotta you kind of have to you're kind of stuck with the I don't know of another way to like in this particular version how to switch to an older model if you actually liked an older version of Artemis, uh, but yeah, that's uh, but it uh, as far as I've seen, I, I'm really I really like the newer versions. Like this low quality looks pretty good. Um, let's uh, let's uh, give it a let's try a medium quality here in the same spot. Looks like it is downloading the model, so it might take a second. Again, it's probably fetching the newest model from directly from Topaz. So you're, you know you're getting the newest uh, model, even if you can't select an older one, which, which is kind of cool, I guess, in the older version. But uh, generally, the newer model, the newer the model is, it's a little better. T typically, they improve it over time. Maybe it's just me, but I'm a little partial to this, uh, to the just the original uh, high quality one. It just looks the best to me. But uh, anyway, I mean, you can always experiment and check it out. Really do like this, like you, that. You know, it kind of keeps a bunch of outputs here. So you can really go in and compare and see what you like the most. Okay, so let's let's make believe we, we decided that we're gonna do Artemis high quality here and we wanna export this whole video, I guess in this case, this whole trailer. So let's go to back and then we're gonna just, we're gonna scroll down here. You can, you're gonna select your encoder here. Uh, I would probably play it safe and just stick with, uh, you can go H.264 NVIDIA. Uh, you can do bit, you can leave it an auto bit rate or uh, set a numer set a numerical value if you want. I'm gonna leave it on auto. Um, uh, I have it set to copy the audio, so it's gonna copy the the audio that's uh, embedded within the the trailer here. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. But you can just set it to auto or or just remove the audio altogether, which I recommend if you're if you're doing a, a more of a feature length movie uh, with Adobe Digital. Uh, container you're going to want to mux the the audio from the original video back into the the enhanced version that Top has created so it doesn't make any sense to copy the video the audio but again i haven't i haven't attempted uh, just copying the the 5.1 i don't know if it can handle that but whatever so let's just uh let's export this video and now it's just running the model down there and that's all so it says it's going to take about three minutes to do the whole thing at 12 about 12 frames per second and now it's just running in real time. So that's, it's simple as that. It also gives you like a little tracking line here, uh, which, you know, is another, it's like a visual representation of its progress. So I'm gonna cancel that out real quick. So you can just, I can just stop, stop processing here. User terminated, it'll say. 
And if I drew this drop, I can hit ex export as. And then you can, if you want to export as, you, you can uh, just set it to where you want to expor uh, export it. If you don't do that, it'll probably just drop it into the, uh, the folder where this the original file was located. So yeah, I guess uh, I kind of gone through everything here pretty much. Again, this whole preview thing is really cool. You can kind of go through each scene, including these slow motion ones that I did, and just kind of toggle through them, see what you like more. Um, I think that's a really good thing. You can actually change up the, you know, this, you use the slider, you can zoom in and out and see, you know, before and after. This is before, this is after. I mean, look at, I mean, you can kind of, uh, compare it that way it's really great uh, this one is uh, here we can go back and forth again so this is after look at Morticia look at all the, the noise that's removed the more definition in her face like this is this slider thing is actually pretty cool too so there are a lot of tools to, to, that the Topaz has provided to help you make sure that you get the perfect uh, you know model for this for your particular clip and again it depends on your clip some clips some models may work better than others this is low quality noisy and i think it looks pretty good um but uh yeah um so yeah this is uh that's topaz 3.0 for you well i hope this video helped you out and helped you understand topaz a little better and understand all the upgrades that came with uh topaz 3.0 which is the biggest upgrade uh, the software has seen for quite a while uh, if you're considering buying the software please consider using the affiliate link in the description uh, a portion of it, every sale goes to the channel and really helps me continue creating con uh, great content like this like uh, for you so i actually just upgraded i paid i just paid for the upgrade myself and i actually do think that it is a worthy upgrade if you're exploring the software for the first time i think i think it's a really uh it's a really good time to buy because it's never been better than it is now if you've if you've kind of been on the fence or just using like a free version of this the other kinds of software out there features that you're getting with the software including slow motion uh enhancement and now like stabilization i think make this a very compelling program for you if you're looking for they, uh, a program that can handle different kinds of material and probably does a better job than like your normal editing software would, uh, would do. If you are if you haven't upgraded for a while, I think now's the time to do it. Uh, I think it's about a hundred bucks and I think I found a coupon somewhere on the internet. Uh, I don't remember where I got it. I think I used Honey or something and I found me like a $10 off coupon or something or 15% off. So I used that and got it for about 80 bucks, 85, 89 bucks, something like that with tax. So if you're coming into this program for the first time, it's never been better. I think it's totally worth the price of admission. Uh, if you're up here, if you haven't upgraded for in a while, I think it's also worth doing right now because I think this is a worthy upgrade, you know, to pony up the, the 100 bucks because I'm sure a lot of development hours go into this thing. And right now, I really do think this is the best option for this kind of uh, software. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you in the next one.